COVID-19 has been a big challenge for all of us, though some would say that maybe farmers haven't been affected as much as most. So I asked a few of my friends in ag, what's the most unexpected thing that you've learned through the COVID period? I've learned that our plants can change every day due to a bunch of circumstances. And as farmers, more than ever, we must be dynamic and proactive on changing and recalculating our roots every day, thinking on the sustainability of our business. Oh, I think farmers are more appreciated now than what they were before. There's some jobs that have perhaps fallen by the wayside and other jobs have probably risen in importance and I think we're lucky that we are part of that. One of the main things I've learned uh, during COVID-19 is that, um, you know, you can't really, uh, nothing's guaranteed. I think for me, I've, we've obviously come from a third world country, came from Zimbabwe, where yes. a lot of supplies were short, like, you know, toilet paper and, and oil and cooking oil and salt and stuff like that. But when we got to COVID-19 in Australia, which is a country which is just once for nothing really, the, the shortages in the supermarket um, was quite an eye-opener and how much we do rely on some countries where we import um, manufactured goods. Probably the unexpected thing I think I've learned during the COVID-19 outbreak is probably how busy my life was and how when I take out a lot of that, um, uh, that busyness away, um, I've certainly enjoyed things a lot more. So probably decluttering my diary uh, has been the, the kind of key thing that I've taken away from it. Hmm, interesting to, to observe the behavior of the people. I think the, the change of uh, habits and behavior of people in general. Uh, so people have more, we take care more, take care more with the hygiene, with everything, they start to wash more their hands or more frequently sanitize the environment, the environments, clean up everything, uh, take off uh, their shoes to enter to the house, for instance, take more bath. <laughs> um, sometimes, particularly with my NFF hat on, it's really bloody hard to get people to work together. It's like herding cats. But through COVID, we've shown that we can. And that's definitely something that we need to keep doing, no matter what commodity you grow, no matter where you live, no matter what state you're in, um, you can actually have this um, hat that you put on where you all work together for the benefit of your community and the benefit of, of our whole community generally. And that's something that we absolutely must keep doing in agriculture if we're going to make the absolute best out of the future opportunities that present themselves to us. I don't expect to think I've learned. The unexpected thing I've learned. Uh, you think about, um, in my experience, I'm a farmer, I'm a public speaker, and my wife and I run a wedding venue. And um, in one month, our wedding venue was completely shut down with no bookings. And uh, our farm, um, the, the markets, you know, crashed from COVID. And then all my speaking events were canceled as well. And so things that I relied on, things that I thought were, were guarantees, uh, they, they, they were taken away. And... I think it's I, I think I've learned a little bit about people. I think I've learned a little bit about um, how we respond when things get tough. And I'm not sure, you know, maybe it's a little bit disappointing for me is that I'm not sure that we look after each other as well as I might have hoped we would. Um, when we see people fighting over toilet paper in Woolworths and, and that, that's not, that's not the Australia that I, I believe in and, and I'm passionate about, you know, um, you know, for me, I've, I've got a faith and, um, and that drives me to want to wanna help others, to want to serve others. And um, yeah, and I, I guess I found that a, a little bit disappointing um, when I've seen that come through. But you know, that being said, we're, we're in unprecedented times and, and people are scared. And you know what, um, sometimes things in life do get scary and we all respond differently. I, I hope for me, I respond differently, but um, you know, I'm a work in progress too. For the first time in a long time, Unfortunately, it takes food to not be on the table um, for the uh, for people to realise how valuable it is and how important it is. And 
the relativity to our GDP, I think given, you know, education in Australia is taking a hit, tourism is taking a hit, um, our mining sector is rebounding, um, but good old ag is still there all the time. And I think it's very opportunistic um, to get our agendas through the table at state and national levels right now, um, while it's hot, um, while people still remember that they couldn't get that food when they went into the supermarket. Now's a better time than ever to leverage um, uh, the opportunity of what COVID's presented us. So the most unexpected thing I've learned through the COVID situation, which we're still in the middle of, is um, the incredible opportunity we've got. It's really like all the balls have been thrown in the air now and we can choose which ones we're going to catch, which ones we'll leave lie. I think we've got a real opportunity to make sure our businesses are the absolute best they can be by just pulling things apart and putting it back together in this COVID situation. COVID-19 will put the whole society to rethink about food security. And consumers and farmers need to stand up for their rights, not only for their duties. Otherwise, it might be too late to complain later on. Um, it's very important to be thankful each day of what you do have and, and uh, not focus on what you don't have and, or what you want, um, but really be thankful of what you do have and, and just don't take that for granted. The learning experience from COVID-19 is probably early on, I should have gone in and bought a bunch of toilet paper because we ran out the first couple of days. But look, in all seriousness, I think the biggest learning thing for us is our sense of community and staying in with your family, but also the ability for us to produce great wholesome food and tell the story of ag, because you can do without a lot of things in life, but you can't do without water and air and food. And I think we've got a great story to tell. That was probably one of the biggest lessons I've learned from COVID-19. Thanks, John. Thanks for the opportunity. Hey, folks, hope you have a great day and cheers.